Hey guys, welcome back to Motorcycle Maintenance Channel. On this episode, we're going to show you how to remove and replace the front wheel on this 2014 ZX-10R Kawasaki motorcycle. Stay tuned. First thing we're going to do is get a 12 millimeter socket and remove the brake caliper bolts. Just like so. Put that one over there. Kind of like to put take them, put them back in the same way they came out. So that's the bottom one. I put it towards the rear of the bike. Top one. I put it towards the front of the bike. They are interchangeable. You can put the top one in the bottom and the bottom one in the top. I don't like to do it that way. This sometimes they have a clip. This one's zip tied. Either way, you're going to take off the uh, this line from your brake line. What this line is, is a speed sensor that goes down to this pulsar ring for your traction control and ABS. And separate them and then rotate it in so you don't scratch your rim. Just kind of or rotate it out. Make sure to separate it. And then we have these bungee cords attached where we'll just hang them right there on the bungee cord so that they don't hang from the brake lines. And then we'll go to the other side and do the same to those caliper bolts. that's done we'll get our six millimeter allen key and take off these two pinch bolts well you have to take them all the way out just a little bit because they're just pinch bolts so. all right Next, you want to get a 22 millimeter Allen key to undo your uh, axle nut. I don't have a 22 millimeter Allen key. So what I did was I invented a tool. I took a 13 16 spark plug socket and stuck an extension through the inside of it which will work in a pinch i also to protect the bike um, put some mat some painters tape on it just to make sure i don't strip out the bolt and it works like a charm and that's it guys it just comes right out don't mess with these pinch bolts on this side you leave those right alone and then we'll put it back in we got new rubber on our wheel, so now it's time to put it back in. We're going to make sure the pulsar ring is on the left side of the bike, or the clutch side. And it will go this way. Also, you want to make sure your spacers are still in there. Spacers are in, so that's good. Get our freshly greased axle bolt. Ooh. Pull up the tire and push in the axle bolt. There we go. Axles in. Tighten it a bit. OK. 
Okay, it's just on there hand tight for right now. We'll torque it down to 94 foot pounds of torque or 127 Newton meters here in a second. Um, we're just gonna leave that hand tight for right now. Pinch bolts are still loose. And we're gonna get our caliper bolts and screw in our calipers. So just kind of pull them apart a little with your fingers. Pull the pads, I mean, apart right here a little bit with your fingers so that they'll slide over the rotor. There we go. Take our front bolt, put it in the front spot. Take our rear bolt, put it in the rear spot. There we go. Not really tightening it with that because we're going to come back and tighten it with the torque wrench. Next, we're going to reattach our traction control slash ABS line to the speed sensor. Um, this one was zip tied, so we're just going to zip tie it. Yours might be on a clip, a stock factory clip, so make sure to secure that. Now we're going to torque our, cal our caliper bolt down to 25 foot-pounds of torque. There's 25 there, 25 there, alright, go to the other side and do the exact same thing to the other side caliper. Now before we tighten the rest of our axle bolt down to 95 or 94 foot pounds of torque and the pinch bolts, we're going to lower the bike and then we're just going to as possible and bounce it up and down. What this does is it chews out the fork. That way there's no weevil wobble in it. Just grab the brake hard and pump up and down on it. Right in the center. That chews the fork. Now we're ready to tighten it down. 94 foot-pounds of torque. There it is. All right. Now we're going to tighten our pinch bolts. These are on there snug. You don't want to go super tight. That's why they're Allen on this particular bike. They're Allen bolts. Um, 
on the CBR 1K, they're at 22 inch pounds, which isn't really tight at all. But that's just all that, that's what they are. They're pinch bolts. All they do is they pinch the axle to secure it from going anywhere. It's already tightened down to 100 foot pounds of torque, so it's not going anywhere. But this is like an extra measure. And then if you race it, you'll have some safety wire too. All right, guys, thank you for watching our video. This is how you remove and replace a front wheel on a 2014 ZX-10R.